We are Luis Angel Marin and Guillermo Herrera, and we are presenting the Crystal Mosque. Mosques are really present in Malaysia since the official religion right there is the Islam. One of the most important mosques in this country is the Crystal Mosque. The uniqueness of this mosque has turned into a very popular tourist attraction. The, tourist, the Crystal Mosque is located in the Islamic Heritage Park in one man island of Terengganu. This mosque cost over $80 million and it took two years to get into the mosque built, most specifically from 2006 to 2008. It was built by Sanderson Design Group and HSS Architects. In this video, we will explain why this mosque is pretty unique and we will describe its space, its structure, its function and other principles, for example, its symmetry and its rhythm, just to mention a few. We can describe the linear elements defining the planes in the interior and the exterior. We can see in this example the front elevation and the left elevation to show that symmetry. We can see also that the size, it's almost monumental, but we can mark it as a big. The color, we can describe that the brown, the dark brown elements in the domes are really present, but it's also interesting that in the inside has white and gold colors. The texture, can we can, this, we can see that from the outside has a shiny texture and from the interior, we can see further in the video that has a soft. We can see also that the visual inertia from the people that are coming into the mosque will be horizontal because they will see from an overview from left to right or to right to left as a main. We can see also an important fact of the architecture Islamic design is orientation because the mosque are pointing to the Mecca. Looks like the in the corners are rounded edges that are shown smoothly to show a continuity of the building design. So we can see that it has like a geometric continuous design. We can see the elements at the background that the fact that has a contrast with the sea and the sky, we can see that the building has a first or a predominant overview in the, in the background. Also at an urban scale, Due the building is built apart within in an island, it stands as a free object in the space. If we see the building as a solid mass of the form, it can be described as a natural rounded shape increasing from the base to the sky with pillars and laterals. We can see that if we only focus on the building, the shape is really easy to, to be described or easy to be shown. Also, if we see the spatial void and we ignore the, the, the building and we only see the, the sky, for example, we can see that the shape of the building is also present and makes it distinguish. Now, moving on to the function organization of rooms. Every single space on the inside is connected to each other. Since the only thing that separates them are columns, but also everything is linked with a hull and a pad. But we will get into more details of this hull and this pad later on, on this video. The special organization, it is centralized. Why? Because it has four minarets uh, one per corner of the building. On the center, it has the main dome or chandelier, which is the main prayer hall. And this one is surrounded with eight smaller domes. People come to this mosque specifically to the main prayer hall, which as I mentioned before, is a big chandelier, which is located on the center of the mosque. The approach is frontal, coming and standing directly from the Islamic Heritage Park to the main, to the man-made island called Pulau One Man. The entrance, the entrance is projected. It is full of experiences, passing through a pointed arc from the Gothic order and Islamic order to a hall full of these same type of arcs. 
with little dumps on the top. It has a projected entrance, since you enter to an open space, but then you have to walk several meters to actually enter to the mosque. About the form of the entrance, the main entrance has a pointed arc form. It contrasts with other features, such as the colors and shapes, because the mosque is full of this type of Islamic architecture, so you get familiar with these forms immediately approaching the building. The location of the entrance. The entrance is located in the, on the center of the main facade through a pointed arc entrance. The visual reinforcements of the entrance. The entrance is visually reinforced with ornamentation and decorative elements, such as plaster work and columns with colors that match the building itself, since the two colors of the that are presented the most in this mosque are white and gold. The configuration of the path. The configuration of the path is composite, since it is a straight way from the Islamic uh, Heritage Park to the main entrance. But at, at a certain point, it turns a spiral. There is this circle form or rotunda a few meters after you cross the first pointed arc of the main entrance. And right after that, there is again a straight line just before entering the mosque. The path space relationship, the path or, or the way to the main entrance is passing through a house surrounded of grass, then moving to a circular shaped building or rotunda with columns only and a roof, then immediately passing again to a hall full of pointed arcs right before entering to the inside of the mosque. About the circulation space, uh, it is really interesting. The first path from the first pointed arc to the circle shaped space, it is kind of an outer space. But then, moving from the circle shaped space to the hall that takes you directly to the inside of the mosque, it is all roof spaces. So it is no longer an outer, spa uh, an outdoor space, we can say. From a symbolic function, we can see that the symbolisms around the building are present of a highly developed Islam representation the calligraphy, the minarets, the domes, the plant, and the distribution of the rooms and the location, where some of them are pointed to the Mecca, are a constant reminder of the religious goal of the building to pray. We can see also that the psychological function, or the main purpose, is to impress to every single person that watches the building from the outside and from the inside. Also, the colors gives a sense of peace to feel the sensation that the mosque is a sacred place to the Ummah, so they will feel realized to pray in that place rather than another one. Now, moving on to the structure, proportion and scale. According to the human scale, we can say that the mosque has a monumental scale from one minaret to another minaret. They have like more than five meters of distance between each other. Also, it has the capacity of holding 1,500 people on the inside, all at the same time. That tells you just of how big it is. Nevertheless, it can actually hold more people on the outside if it is necessary. As you can see on the inside of the mosque, the height of the roof, without counting the dumps, obviously, it is like three times bigger than the average height of a human scale. The general structure, the inside of the mosque is only being held by columns. Since it is a big room only, there are no other rooms. The walls that surround the mosque are pointed arc walls, and some part of these walls has no windows or any openings. The steel and glass gives this mosque the special looks that it has. It makes it look modern and historical at the same time, by using the construction that gives the Islam their personal touch, but also with the difference that uses modern materials. Now, the type of architectural structure, it is celebrated. Why? Because since, since, since where it is built, it was a space specifically made for the mosque to be there. They made this little expansion on the Islamic Heritage Park to place there the Crystal Mosque. When you approach the building, the first material you see is the glass or the crystal. It is very often illuminated on the inside plus the water body that surrounds the mosque is always reflected on the glass. This makes this crystal shine and also have the appearance of a golden color. The use of the color white 
makes it look really shiny because of the sunlight. The steel and crystal that this mosque uses gives this Malaysian mosque the beautiful and modern characteristic which is very well known for. We can see as another principles, the axes are can be easily represented in this case from an overhead overview, from a vertical and from the horizontal one. We can see also that there is a symmetry in the building from the multiple views, even from the overhead plant or the plant itself, the minarets, the domes, everything is aligned to show a symmetrical view. We can see the hierarchy is present when we see how the building defined from the bottom to the higher vertical lines. The minarets and the domes help to demonstrate the importance of the elements, but also around the building we can see some hierarchy elements of the Islamic architecture as gardens and fountains. We can see that there is a rhythm and repetition in the structure when we analyze the four minarets and the, British, and the repetition of the domes as symmetric shapes from the multiple quadrants and axes. We can see from this view how is the geometrical representation of itself. This building has multiple references from the most important elements of the Islam muskets. It's a pure representation of a transformation to the elements present as the minarets, onion domes, presence of certain colors as white and gold, calligraphy shown at some walls, the position and the orientation which is referencing to the Mecca, and the Islam symbols, for example the moon on the top of the center dome and the minarets. These symbols and architectural elements are a proper and well-established representation of the Islamic legacy in the architectural context. Now, in conclusion, the Crystal Mosque is one of the most important mosques in Malaysia. We may even say that it is the most important and most beautiful one. It is amazing how it combines aspects of the modern days, such as the display of lights it has at night when it turns its color to green, pink, red, and other colors, but also giving its respect to the main characteristics of a mosque, like the minarets or the domes. It is unique and will be interesting how they use glass and crystal for the minarets and the domes. It is truly a masterpiece on the inside and on the outside. And now these are the references. Thank you very much. Thanks.